WWE, which has really kind of been the biggest platform. Do you find yourself encountering more wrestlers at the moment who don't see that as the ultimate goal and would kind of prefer to be doing the sort of work that you're doing at the moment? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, um, I want to say maybe as little as ten, maybe five, ten years ago, like, WWE was the end-all, be-all. Um, I know personally for me, like, when I when I moved to, um, I guess, the mainland from uh, from Hawaii, like, you know, WWE was definitely the end-all, be-all go for myself. Um, and then flash forward a few years, just, like, the boom in the, in the independent scene and the boom overseas and the boom in Japan and all these other big companies popping up, like, like Ring of Honor is doing great work, Impact's doing great work, uh, MLW is doing great work, and now All Elite Wrestling popped up and they're doing great work as well. So it's like you you have options now, and and it's definitely uh, I feel like it's a great time to be a professional wrestler, especially if you're putting in the work and and you're grinding it out there and all that. I mean, it's like you know the cream rises to the top. So eventually, I I feel like there's there's going to be places for everybody to work and make a good living. Now, there was that big explosive Moxley interview he did with Jericho, right, where he described, you know, the the hell landscape of WWE creatively. How how is uh how is it work with Ring of Honor? Like how is your relationship with creative and management and do you feel listened to? I guess is what I'm I'm asking. Oh yeah, definitely. Um they're very receptive on on feedback from what the talent's perspective is. Like, um usually if we have a promo, they're they're not going over verbatim word for word what i need to say because that's definitely not the way not the way i would say something or absurd promo so they'll give the like i'll get a text message like the day before or something and it'll just be like hey this is the, the gist of the promo let's hit these bullet points all right, all right cool and then they trust they trust the talent in where we can get it get the point across in the way we would deliver a certain line or a promo Mm-hmm. So and I I feel that's great, um, and there's always an open door policy. They're like if you have a question, concern, or whatnot, they're they're more than helpful to listen to, which is I think is is wonderful. Okay. Like there's not 45 people or 45 steps I have to get through to get to get my question answered. It's pretty much like we're so and so over there. Okay, well can I talk to him? And then we're good to go. 